thought you might like to come with me and take a walk out to the what we call the way back. Since my kids have been little, they've always referred to the area beyond our pool yard as the way back. Beautiful day here today. It rained like crazy yesterday. There's my daisies. Never had good luck with daisies. I don't know why. Anyway. Boy, the zinnias are just busting out. Look at that. Oh, they're so pretty. I just love this headboard and footboard out here. We're going to be getting over 300 feet of fence starting tomorrow, I hope. Our neighbors had asked us many times not to put a wood fence up between our yards, but they both recently passed away about, I don't know, six, seven weeks ago. It's just so sad. I miss them so much. But we have a wood fence on this side, but now we're going to be putting it to divide the yards on that side. And now we'll go to the way back. It's going to look really different with a big fence. Our peach tree. You can already see quite a few peaches are set. My composter. Call this area the store because that's where I keep all the little things we usually run to Home Depot to get. Saved me so much money and time just coming out here and having it all handy. I'm trying to have these um, morning glories, one of my favorite summer flowers grow up over the fence so they'll be on the other, come, you know, fall, flowing down on the other side. Boy, this peach tree has a lot of peaches on it. Is there other little peach tree? They're little trees, but they really put out. But this whole area is going to be divided by a fence. We've been used, for over 20 years, we've been used to coming out and having this nice open area, but now to the left about how many, maybe about 12 feet from these trees over, we'll be having a wooden fence going the length of our property. These are my berries. I gotta, I guess I should take out those green, those are hard to get out, whatever that is that's growing there, it's a grass of some kind. We finally got them up on a trellis so we can manage them a little better. And here's the area I have all my potatoes growing in and different things. Buckets, four and five gallon buckets and the tires. I've already gotten about six pounds of potatoes, which is unusual. I don't know why they were done so early. And here's the other garden I got to completely replant after I took the dirt out of what was already planted and mixed it with compost about half and half because what we got from our landscaping supply place may as well have been, it was like sand or sawdust. It was had nothing in it at all. And I didn't catch it. And there's a YouTube channel called Self-Sufficient Me. A guy named Mark has that channel and I was so disappointed with how everything looked in my garden after a few weeks of planting it and his video for the day said, before you go to the landscape supply company, watch this. And with fear and dread, I watched it and it was all about how careful you have to be getting, um, you know, dirt that's been mixed supposedly with fertilizers and amendments that would help your garden grow because they're not all they're cracked up to be always. So I had every intention of taking all of these tomatoes out, but they're little Charlie Brown tomato plants. But look at all the tomatoes that are coming. If I jump, it's because lizards are running around. I mean, they're just really putting out a lot of little tomatoes and I didn't have the heart to pull them up, so. I've got tomatoes in the patio yard too that are just Real Charlie Brown tomato plants, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to pull them up just because they don't have the green foliage. But they are looking good. They're looking better. They were all yellow. I had to 
totally redo all of them. See these beans here are just so yellow. And these lemon cucumbers are yellow, but they're a, they're a better yellow. They're, they're going towards green. <laughs> so I started some more asparagus beans, you know, those yard long beans. I love those. And more string beans. I've also tucked in each pot, I've tucked a few um, pole beans in the back of each pot so they'll grow up the trellis. And the sweet potatoes are just really doing well. That was easy to start these little slips from a potato. I'd like to get some different kinds. And here's some more spinach. We've enjoyed that perpetual spinach so much. Here's our little persimmon tree. Love these persimmons. And our beautiful fig tree that gives us a lot of good figs. And plums and nuts and all kinds of stuff back there. Another little peach tree in the middle. That's got quite a bit of fruit on it too. Things are going to look really different here with the fence up there. We've never seen it like that. Our fence will go almost to that little shed. So it'll give us a lot more possibilities for things that we can do here. Here's another pot of potatoes and some melon plants. Melons are green. Oh look, that already came up. Some zinnias already came up. They've only been in there a couple days. I can't believe they've come up so fast. But you'll notice the yellow hue to all my plants. I've never, ever, I've just always had really, really vibrant, beautiful gardens. And this was really a kick to my pride. Didn't think I was a pride, prideful person, but man, I wasn't expecting this. There's my eggplant. Yeah, it's greening up. Things are looking okay. I don't give up that easy. Let's take this dead. And the orange onions are looking good, but they're not even as green as they really should should be. But I've only been able to work that compost into the ground around them. I haven't been able to just you know trans take the plant out, add it, and put it back like I did. I have to do. I can't do that with the onions. But anyway. This is the out. This is the way back. We've always called it that. The kids have played for many years on this whole area. But that's going to be changing starting tomorrow. Our neighbors used to come over and watch 4th of July fireworks with us here. And things change so quickly. If you have neighbors you love and appreciate, be sure and tell them so. My neighbors were in their 80s and to us never been anything but just the perfect neighbors just the perfect neighbors and they endured all of our kids and grandkids and they genuinely cared for them and they're very missed let's go ahead and take a little walk back here I'll show you the we put pool noodles on these stakes we've got to get these tea poles out they've been in our ground forever and I'm so afraid the kids are going to like that would you know protect anyone but <laughs> at least visually it keeps them away from it okay I want to clean up along this back fence too a lot of that stuff just comes up on its own wow look at this peach tree it's really got some little they're so sweet they're very very little but they're delicious an almond tree and a walnut tree oh, you can see a lot of the fruit the plums are really, we had them topped off last year, so. But these, um, this pomegranate tree is just beautiful. Destiny's our child that loves pomegranates. Very pretty. I love the color of the flowers. Look at that. So pretty. Anyway. Lots to do. Never a dull moment. Always have something I can be working on out here. This is my gymnasium. I don't go work out at the gym. I work out here every day. <clears throat> I have to turn on the
I need to get this broken up and put into the compost pile. These are just leaves and stuff that have been there for a couple years. But anyway, so pretty soon this won't be the view from our backyard. We'll have a much smaller backyard, but it's still a great big, huge backyard. <laughs> we only have about a, a little more than a half an acre here, but it feels like a lot more because there's the properties like a big rectangle and it goes back away from the road. <clears throat> I love these cattle panels that we have the berries on. That should be nice. I think you just suggest to berries where you want them. You don't make them grow where they don't want to grow. But I gave them a good, good thinning this early spring and they've just really come back beautifully because we couldn't get to all the blackberries. So look at all the blackberries waiting. Someone asked me how many pies I've made and I have to tell them we really don't see any in the house. They're mostly eaten outside. <laughs> I love our fruitless pear trees. We've really enjoyed these trees. I love all the green of springtime and summer. Anyway, this is what I'm referring to when I say the way back. This is our way back soon to be enclosed and it's going to be really great to see what happens there. That'll be fun. Our neighbors said back in the day they had horses back here. And with our trees in the summer, our pool yard isn't visible and I, I love that. We have a couple of two-story houses in the back but it's very private. It's very quiet back here. So. Well, thanks for coming with me. Thanks for stopping by. God bless you and have a really good week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>